So, Will, what have you been doing in your IT lesson today? Uh, I've been programming and I've made a maze game where when you get to the end, or bump into a wall, so as a sprite, uh, a scary, scary face pops up. Okay, so, so what have you got so far? Do you want to show, ex explain uh, any of this? Well, I can move the dot around and a scary face comes up, but I need to change the... Like, oh, no, but it's a dot at the moment because we were just testing it. Okay. And, uh, there are a few lines which, when you bump into them, not yet, but when I finished uh, positioning them all, I'll uh, make them bump into it and then so, the face can pop up as well. So what year are you in? I'm um, in year seven. And what do you think of Touch Develop? Uh, it's a really good site for making games. Uh, it's, it's fun and easy to use and you, know, you can make quite good games on it. Okay. Uh, so Cameron, what have you been doing in IT? Um, I've been learning how to code games to create apps for a Windows phone. So what's your app doing at the moment? Um, at the moment I've got a Luigi figure who starts at um, the start line and there's going to be a finish line over at the other end. When you crash into a car it says don't get on the road and you go back to the start for it to disappear and then you can play again. Ah, do you want to show us any of your code? Okay. Uh, so Right, so what, what is that doing? Um, well, it's, this is programming the game to do what it does. And there's things that are setting pictures in the background. So what are some of these this, settings you've changed? Um, well, the position is... I've got the two positions for the character. Yeah. So they spawns in the right place. Um, then I've got the different heights for the different characters. Do you enjoy touch develop? Oh uh, yes, it's fun, thank you. Okay. <laughs>